Twisted Love, the Monica Sementilli, and Robert Baker. Murder Conspiracy explores the captivating story of betrayal, passion, and deadly secrets that rock the world of glamour and deceit. In a story that transcends the bounds of conventional authentic crime narratives, this documentary uncovers the sinister depths of a relationship tainted by obsession and manipulation. As the glitz of Hollywood fades, the spotlight illuminates a darker reality behind closed doors. Monica Sementilli, the glamorous wife of a renowned celebrity hairstylist, and Robert Baker, a shadowy figure from her past, become entangled in a web of forbidden desire and deadly ambition. What begins as a torrid affair evolves into something far more sinister, a chilling plot to eliminate Monica's husband and seize control of his fortune. Through riveting interviews, exclusive footage, and meticulous investigative reporting, Twisted Love exposes the intricate layers of deception and betrayal that shroud this shocking murder conspiracy. Monica Sementilli and Robert Baker, facing charges of conspiring to murder Monica's husband, Fabio Sementilli, 49, allegedly maintained their romantic involvement during their incarceration, according to records unveiled in an investigation. Prosecutors contend that their ongoing relationship, documented through recordings from police sting operations, presents further substantiation for the purported murder conspiracy between the pair. Despite being detained, Sementilli and Baker purportedly sustained their emotional connection, suggestive of a deeper conspiracy beyond the confines of their incarceration. The revelations from the investigation indicate a persistent bond between the accused, extending beyond the confines of their legal predicament. The recordings from police operations depict intimate exchanges and discussions implicating the duo in a collaborative effort to orchestrare Fabio Sementilli's demise, the continuation of their Roman Sabihin Barzads, a layer of complexity to the case, suggesting a shared intent to execute the alleged conspiracy despite facing legal repercussions. These developments underscore the gravity of the accusations against Monica Sementilli and Robert Baker, illuminating the depths of their alleged involvement in the sinister plot to end Fabio Sementilli's life. Monica, age 52 at the time, expresses emotional pain in a four-page letter to her co-defendant, lamenting, It's painful not to feel loved by you. Meanwhile, Baker, aged 61, is recorded addressing Sementilli during their lockup months after their arrest with straightforward affection, stating, I genuinely love you. Baker and Monica faced a significant turn of events on June 14, 2017, when they were apprehended and subsequently charged with the murder of Fabio and conspiracy to commit murder. Baker opted to plead no contest in July 2023, leading to his acceptance of a life sentence without the possibility of parole. In contrast, Monica is slated to stand trial independently in April, having pleaded not guilty to the charges against her. Their legal saga, chronicled by contributor Michelle Miller, unfolds in the Monica Sementilli affair. The arrest of Baker and Monica marked a pivotal moment in the case, signaling the commencement of legal proceedings that would ultimately determine their fates. Baker's decision to forego contesting the charges and accept a life sentence denotes a significant development, while Monica's steadfast denial of guilt sets the stage for her upcoming trial. The intricacies of their case, including the alleged conspiracy, and the events leading up to Fabio's tragic demise are scrutinized in the investigative profile presented by Michelle Miller. Through the Monica Sementilli affair, viewers are granted insight into the complexities of the legal process and the unfolding narrative surrounding the accused individuals. On the day of their apprehension, as per a recording made public by the police, Monica confides in a fellow inmate about the significance of Baker in her life expressing, he's more than just my romantic partner. He's my trusted confidant. He's my everything. He's my investigations. The investigations have uncovered a meticulous array of sting operations orchestrated by law enforcement to persistently delve into the suspected conspiracy between the defendants, even amidst their detention. 
employing conventional and innovative tactics, the police undertook a multifaceted approach to intercept and document the defendant's exchanges and declarations. These meticulously executed operations are poised to be compelling evidence of conspiracy during Monica's impending trial. The police's commitment to unraveling the intricate web of alleged conspiracy remained unwavering, prompting the deployment of standard and inventive methodologies. From traditional surveillance techniques to more nuanced strategies tailored to the case's unique circumstances, authorities navigated a complex landscape to gather crucial intelligence. Meticulously designed and executed, these operations captured the nuances of the defendant's interactions and conversations. Through a combination of surveillance, wiretapping, and undercover agents, law enforcement agencies meticulously compiled a comprehensive dossier of evidence. The recordings and observations from these operations serve as pivotal components in substantiating the prosecution's conspiracy claims. The utilization of such varied and resourceful means underscores the gravity of the allegations against the defendants and the dedication of law enforcement to pursue justice. By leveraging a diverse toolkit of investigative techniques, authorities demonstrated adaptability and ingenuity in their pursuit of truth and accountability. As the impending trial approaches, the wealth of evidence amassed through these sting operations is a testament to the thoroughness of the investigation. Each intercepted conversation and observed interaction offers a glimpse into the alleged collusion between the defendants, painting a vivid picture of the purported conspiracy. Ultimately, the revelation of these covert operations sheds light on the intricate and meticulous nature of law enforcement's efforts to unearth the truth behind Monica's trial. With compelling evidence, prosecutors are poised to meticulously construct their case, drawing upon the insights gleaned from these extensive investigative endeavors. It has been established that the individual Monica confided in upon her initial detainment was an undercover police officer assuming the role of an inmate. This strategic deployment aimed to capture Monica engaging in candid discussions, which were covertly recorded for investigative purposes. Such operations conducted within correctional facilities are commonly referred to by law enforcement as Perkins operations, drawing from pertinent case law that governs the procedures and protocols for such in-jail sting operations. The utilization of this particular jail whose setup underscores law Enforcement's proactive measures to gather crucial evidence and insights directly from the accused while in custody. By embedding undercover officers within the inmate population, authorities aimed to create opportunities for candid conversations that could shed light on the alleged conspiracy. These Perkins operations are meticulously orchestrated endeavors guided by legal precedents and established procedures. Undercover officers assume roles within correctional facilities, blending seamlessly into the inmate environment to facilitate authentic interactions with the suspects. Through surreptitious recordings and observations, law enforcement endeavors to uncover valuable information that could bolster their case against the accused. The strategic deployment of undercover officers within correctional facilities underscores law enforcement's multifaceted approach to pursuing justice. By leveraging these specialized tactics, authorities seek to bridge gaps in their understanding of the alleged conspiracy, gathering critical intelligence from first-hand interactions with the defendants. As revealed, including these jailhouse setups in the investigation highlights the comprehensive nature of law enforcement's efforts to unravel the complexities of Monica's case. Through meticulous planning and execution, Authorities strive to gather irrefutable evidence contributing to the prosecution's pursuit of justice. Our inquiry uncovered that law enforcement went to extraordinary lengths beyond deploying undercover officers within cells to ensnare Monica and Baker. As the two defendants were transported to courtrooms for their initial pretrial hearings, detectives orchestrated arrangements to be detained in adjacent cells leading up to these proceedings. As the investigation continued, these intercepted communications played a pivotal role in shaping the case's trajectory against Monica and Baker. By providing valuable insights and corroborating evidence, they strengthened the prosecution's position, 
and underscored the gravity of the allegations leveled against the defendants. It has procured copies of three distinct jail love letters authored by Monica and intended for Baker, intercepted by police, while Monica planned to transmit them in courthouse holding cells. During Monica and Baker's hearing attendance, detectives stumbled upon the letters in the holding cells. Swiftly, the detectives duplicated the letters before discreetly reinstating them for the inmate's retrieval. Post hearings, ensuring the defendants remained oblivious to the interception and reproduction of the love letters. This revelation unveils the meticulousness of law enforcement's surveillance techniques, exemplifying their commitment to gathering incriminating evidence without alerting the suspects. The covert interception and replication of the letters underscore the strategic approach detectives adopt in pursuing justice. Through this surreptitious maneuver, law enforcement aimed to preserve the integrity of their investigation while capitalizing on the unsuspecting nature of Monica and Baker. Authorities bolstered their arsenal of evidence by clandestinely obtaining copies of the love letters, further complicating the defendant's legal predicament. The intercepted correspondence is another layer of complexity in the intricate web of allegations surrounding Monica and Baker. Despite their unawareness of the surveillance tactics employed by law enforcement, the intercepted letters are potent evidence of the defendant's ongoing involvement in the alleged conspiracy. It delves deeper into the case. The interception of these love letters serves as a poignant reminder of the lengths to which authorities are willing to go to uncover the truth. Amidst the legal proceedings and revelations of covert surveillance, the fate of Monica and Baker hangs precariously in the balance, awaiting the outcome. On multiple occasions, Monica's defense has contended that the intimate and romantic aspects of their relationship hold no relevance to the core issue of whether they conspired to murder Fabio Sementilli. Prosecutors assert that the insights obtained from these operations solidify the ongoing jailhouse romance as additional proof of the murder conspiracy between the accused. The defendants have made mutual pledges not to collaborate with law enforcement or testify against each other to protect themselves. This unusual circumstance, wherein the two inmates had the opportunity to communicate while detained, was deliberately orchestrated by law enforcement to capture conversations between the unsuspecting defendants. Prosecutors cite secret jail code as evidence. In a 2021 motion filed by the prosecutor, recordings and intercepted love letters are deemed evidence of an ongoing secrecy pact between the accused. The defendants frequently communicated using cryptic language, phrases, and codes designed to secretly converse without detection by law enforcement, such as OMM, 9PM, LOML, and 100, as stated in a prosecution document. Prosecutors argue that these encoded phrases express the defendants' love and loyalty to each other and validate their participation in the conspiracy and secrecy pact. They maintain that OMM translates to on my mind, 9 p.m., to notice a covered strategy to violate jail rules, coordinating a call facilitated by a third party. Additionally, they contend that LOML signifies love of my life and 100 epitomizes their unwavering commitment to each other. Court documentation about the relationship. According to court documents, two individuals in a romantic relationship utilized six arranged meetings facilitated by detectives. Prosecution filings state that Monica and Baker were observed communicating and participating in self-stimulation and various activities. However, the judge has decided that the recorded segments about alleged activities will not be allowed as evidence. Nonetheless, these encounters depict the intense affection in their ongoing relationship while incarcerated. Prosecutors assert that after those meetings ceased, the incarcerated co-defendants who were romantically involved, found illicit means to maintain communication, breaching jail regulations. In a filing from 2021, prosecutors claimed that, over the past four years, the defendants placed numerous calls through intermediaries. This facilitated their communication. While these recorded phone conversations have been disclosed to the defense during the discovery process, they have not been released publicly. 
Excerpts from two of the six recorded encounters were reviewed, including discussions about marriage. Additionally, Monica consistently refers to herself as Mrs. Baker, Monica Baker, and your wifey in her letters. Prosecutors allege that MB is a code for Monica Baker. According to the prosecutor, the defendants have consistently referred to each other as husband and wife while being held in custody for the alleged murder of Sementili's lawful husband. This, the prosecutor argues, demonstrates not only their commitment to each other, but also to their purported conspiracy to commit murder. During the grand jury proceedings, Prosecutor Silverman contended that the defendant's dedication to their relationship motivated their alleged conspiracy, asserting that they were planning to eliminate Fabio to gain access to his significant life insurance benefits and potentially live happily ever after. Monica's legal team has repeatedly contested the relevance of evidence regarding the romantic relationship in proving the existence of a murder conspiracy. However, According to the prosecutor's statements, it is undisputed that Monica and Baker's commitment to their relationship persisted, at least during the initial months of their incarceration and potentially for years. In a recorded conversation from their confinement, Baker tells Monica, we will get married. You are the perfect wife for me, beyond belief. My mind is like I'm delirious. While the current communication status between the two defendants remains uncertain, their commitment to a relationship during the initial stages of their arrest, possibly extending over the years, emerges prominently from the evidence. Despite six years of imprisonment, signs indicate a steadfast dedication to their bond. This devotion is particularly striking in the months following their apprehension. Even after Monica became aware of evidence linking Baker to her husband's demise, their exchange of affectionate letters and vows persisted. The enduring nature of their relationship is underscored by the consistent display of affection and promises exchanged between them. Despite the weight of the circumstances and the revelation implicating Baker in the death of Monica's spouse, their emotional connection appears resilient. These manifestations of loyalty suggest a profound attachment that transcends the challenges and uncertainties they face. Throughout their incarceration, the defendant's correspondence serves as a poignant reminder of the enduring strength of their bond. Despite the constraints of their situation and the looming specter of legal proceedings, their expressions of love endure, hinting at a relationship that perseveres despite adversity. Even amid incarceration and legal challenges, their continued expressions of love illustrate a bond that perseveres despite adversity. The ongoing exchange of love letters and assurances hints at a profound emotional connection that persists despite the passage of time and the challenges they confront. It is a testament to the resilience of their bond, illustrating that even in the face of grave circumstances, their commitment to each other remains unwavering. The continuous correspondence of love letters and affirmations suggests a deep emotional bond that endures despite the trials and tribulations they endure over time. It serves as a testament to the enduring strength of their relationship, showcasing their unwavering commitment to each other even amidst adversity. Despite significant challenges, their connection remains steadfast demonstrating resilience in adversity. Their ongoing exchange of affectionate expressions serves as a poignant reminder of the enduring power of love, transcending the passage of time and overcoming the obstacles they encounter. Amid daunting circumstances, their unwavering dedication to one another stands as a beacon of hope, illustrating the profound depths of their bond and the resilience of their enduring love. In an exclusive interview with a channel from jail, Baker revealed that he and Monica can no longer communicate. He mentioned their last encounter, where Monica allegedly called him a murderer while they passed each other in lockup. However, he didn't specify when this happened. This accusation of murder marks a significant change in Monica's behavior, considering her previous supportive attitude towards Baker, as seen in their jail letters and recordings up to August 2017. In the interview, Baker asserted that Monica had no knowledge of any murder plot and wasn't involved. 
However, prosecutors strongly oppose this claim, presenting 56 actions they argue show a conspiracy between the two lovers to kill the celebrity hairstylist turned beauty industry executive. Monica's defense team plans to have Baker testify during her trial. Prosecutors vigorously contest this assertion, sitting 56 actions they claim to demonstrate a conspiracy between Monica and Baker to murder the celebrity hairstylist turned beauty industry executive. Monica's defense intends to call Baker as a witness during her trial. After Baker's sentencing, Levine said, we are confident that Robert Baker's guilty plea and his truthful testimony will finally establish once and for all that Monica Cimentilli had nothing to do with the planning or the murder of Fabio Cimentilli, her husband. It means that they believe Robert Baker's admission of guilt and his honest testimony will prove once and for all that Monica Cimentilli was not involved in planning or carrying out the murder of her husband, Fabio Cimentilli. The upcoming trial of Monica Cementilli for the murder of her husband, Fabio, will pivot on the interpretation of her romantic involvement with Robert Baker, the convicted killer. Prosecutors aim to present evidence that portrays their relationship not merely as a tale of passionate infidelity, but as integral to a criminal conspiracy. This narrative will be central to the case, shaping perceptions of Monica's culpability for her husband Fabio's murder, emphasis will be placed on her romantic involvement with convicted killer Robert Baker. Prosecutors aim to characterize their relationship not just as an affair, but as a significant aspect of an alleged criminal scheme. This portrayal is crucial, as it will influence perceptions regarding Monica's role in the crime. The prosecution intends to introduce extensive details regarding Monica and Baker's love affair, stretching back a year before Fabio's tragic demise. Their portrayal of the relationship extends beyond the confines of mere infidelity, suggesting a deeper entanglement that allegedly culminated in Fabio's murder. According to the prosecution's strategy, Monica and Baker's romantic involvement continued even after the crime, suggesting a sustained commitment despite the dire circumstances. Investigations conducted by the channel revealed that Monica and Baker maintained their relationship while incarcerated, awaiting trial. This revelation further underscores the prosecution's assertion that their connection transcended the confines of a conventional affair, allegedly evolving into a partnership marked by criminal intent. However, Monica's defense team will likely challenge this narrative, emphasizing the complexity of human relationships and attempting to cast doubt on the prosecution's portrayal of events. They may argue that while Monica's involvement with Baker was indisputably romantic, it does not necessarily equate to active participation in a murder conspiracy. Ultimately, the trial will hinge on the jury's interpretation of the evidence presented. The prosecution's depiction of Monica and Baker's relationship as evidence of a calculated plot to eliminate Fabio will compete with the defense's portrayal of it as a story of forbidden love, untangling the nuances of passion and criminal intent. As the trial unfolds, the question of whether Monica's love affair with Baker constitutes evidence of a criminal conspiracy or mere infidelity will be meticulously examined and debated in the courtroom. As we delve deeper into the intricacies of twisted love, the Monica Sementilli and Robert Baker murder conspiracy the haunting echoes of passion and betrayal reverberate through every revelation. Through the lens of this riveting tale, we witness the collision of love and deceit, where the boundaries between devotion and manipulation blur into a chilling narrative of fatal consequences. As the story unfolds, we are drawn into many secrets and suspicions, where the allure of forbidden romance intertwines with the sinister undercurrents of conspiracy. Each twist and turn unveils new layers of complexity, leaving us grappling with the enigmatic personas of Monica Sementilli and Robert Baker, whose entangled fates become the focal point of this gripping saga. Yet amidst the shadows of doubt and ambiguity, one truth remains resolute, the relentless pursuit of justice.
As we bid farewell to this haunting chronicle, we are left pondering the profound complexities of human nature and the enduring quest for truth in the face of darkness.